Long before Bratz, before the OMGs and the Rainbow Highs, there were other dolls out there trying to take Barbie's spot, and I want to take a look at them right now. Welcome back to my channel. I have not been feeling well. I have been heating up. I've had the chills. I've been feeling all loopy and out of it. I don't know what's going on. But I've been bored and I've been wanting to make a new video. Today, I wanted to cover a few dolls that were trying to take Barbie's coveted position in that toy aisle. When Barbie came out in 59, she was a big deal. A lot of people wanted in on this action. And even today, Barbie is still the number one fashion doll on the planet. She even had, what, one of the biggest movies of all time come out just this past summer? She's a legend. You can't beat her, but a lot of people have tried. Let's look at some of those very first dolls that were trying to compete with Barbie. And I think they're pretty cute. Who is the girl with the twinkle in her eyes? It's Tammy. The ideal team, it's Tammy. Tammy. She's the ideal team. Yep, I'll admit they're cute. They're cute. They're cute. So we got Tammy. Tressie, and her little cousin, Cricket. <laughs> Tammy was the first character to come out. She came out in 62. This version is actually from 65. This is the only Tammy I have because I only have so much space. And this is the coolest Tammy, I think, because she's got this little phone booth and she has these wires in her legs that make her bendable. She was based on a character from a movie called Tammy and the Bachelor starring Debbie Reynolds, and she does look a bit like Debbie Reynolds. Now, the doll Tammy was the inspiration for Cindy the doll in the UK. Cindy even uses Tammy's tagline, the doll you love to dress. Cindy actually did outsell Barbie in the UK. A lot of people consider Cindy to be the UK's Barbie. Tammy came from the toy company Ideal. Tressie here comes from a company called American Character. Eventually, Tressie was sold to Ideal and that character went through a big makeover. But the big deal with Tressie was this hair feature, this extendable hair. And as you can see, my Tressie <laughs> looks totally ridiculous. I spent a good 10 minutes putting this together and I, I like it, okay? See this little key that hangs from her dress? And that actually goes into her back and helps work the hair feature, the retractable hair. Her little cousin Cricket, this is obviously like a, a skipper thing. I don't think I would have bought Cricket if her name wasn't Cricket. It's just charming to me, okay? And this is also a Cricket outfit called Shutterbug. And there's a little metal camera in there. She's very cute. All three of these are really cute. Tammy did not do that well in sales. She only lasted a few years. But Tressie did stick around for quite a while longer. Once she moved over to um, Ideal, she was there until the 70s. I wanna move on to another one, a stranger one, that came out a little bit later. Legs are in, and Leggy's got the legs to look at. Leggy's got the legs to look at, and you'll like to show her leg. Leggy, four different dolls, each with her own costume, each sold separately. This is Leggy, baby. I really like these ones. These are, <laughs> these are super weird, and most of the length of these, I think they're like nine inch dolls, is leg. They're very spindly. As you can see, I got three here. It's all the same head mold and just different hair and skin tones. And they had really cool, like early 70s outfits. These dolls were only available for one run, one year. And I don't know why they weren't really given that much more of a chance. I think you can see a lot of shades of like monster high dolls and stuff, like these crazy exaggerated forms. They actually did make a sort of reincarnation of these, I think in the 90s, maybe the 2000s. They were cute. 
They weren't that cute. I, I think these are cuter. These leggy dolls are kind of hard to find now. I would say probably their outfits are harder to find than the dolls. You can find them. You can find them. You can do it. You can find them. But I like these. I like these exaggerated forms. I like what they're doing here. I think this was a really fun idea. I approve. I just like that they're more different than Barbie. They're trying something new, even if it was very short-lived. Now let's move a little bit forward in time to another trend that was really big, but mostly involved hair play. I'm gonna bring him out now. Hair that grows, hair that goes to here to there. It grows. Beautiful Chrissy and new velvet. This is look around Chrissy. <laughs> She's big. She's big. As you can see, she is much, much larger than a Barbie. But I think she's pretty cool. If you were a kid who really loved hair play, she also has sleep eyes. They were always trying to look for other things that dolls could do at this time. As you can see, she has the retractable hair feature that Ideal purchased from American Character. This doll also has another gimmick where you pull the string on her back and she will turn her head and shift around at the waist. She looks around. That's cool. She came with a younger cousin named Velvet, who also has the same hair feature. Mainly, it was about the hair play. There, there was more hair. There was more fun to be had. And Mattel got in on this too, with Quick Girl Casey. Obviously, she's not competing with Barbie because she's from Mattel, but this is Quick Girl Casey and she looks a lot like a Quick Girl Skipper doll. She's just giant. And it's easy to think that Quick Girl Casey is part of the Barbie family, but she's not, she's not related to the Casey doll that we know. I guess it's hard for me not to see a fashion doll as something around 12 inches that sort of looks like Barbie, which is just a testament to Barbie more than anything else. Anyway, let's move on to something that's a little closer to Barbie. That also came out in the 70s. Dusty, dusty, riding, nugget, nugget, nugget. They're riding east, they're riding west. Dusty and Sky, you're beautiful. The Dusty Tennis Sports Set, Sky and all accessories. Did you realize a legend would now be entering the video? It's Dusty, baby. She's not a fashion doll. She's a sports action doll. I heard that she was inspired by Billie Jean King. I can't say if that's exactly the truth. I don't think it really matters because once you get a good hard look at Dusty, you know that she has a personality that is all her own. And she has this crazy zest for life that you just can't compete with. Somebody asked me the other day on Instagram if I was on the dusty train with all the kids now or something like that. I didn't know that all the kids were really loving Dusty. I knew that Trixie Mattel is a big fan of Dusty. I didn't know that that had caused such a rise in Dusty's popularity. Now, if you're not acquainted with this lovely lady, there were two versions, the first and the second. The first has this action feature where she can swing. Here she's, she's hitting the golf ball. The second here was a trade-in special. She doesn't have the action feature, but she looks a little less harsh. I, I like them both. I can certainly see the appeal of this one. This is Sky, Dusty's best friend. These girls came from Kenner the creator of the Easy Bake Oven. And they were obviously meant to be a very sporty version of Barbie. They are for you to have some fun with and enjoy the outdoors and really, really get some sun. I'm a big fan of Dusty. I've been a big fan of Dusty for quite a while. One thing to note, she is made of this plastic that over time will start to sort of melt and will drip out of out of her and can and can stain clothes. But it's it's a pretty easy fix to like scrape it off and get her moving again. 
she's worth the little bit of extra effort. Now that we've seen Dusty, let's move on to one final doll that came out in the 70s and is a fashion doll and is supposed to be very beautiful. Now, side note, in the advertisements, they did say that Dusty was America's most beautiful doll. Beauty subjective, baby. Subjective. These two friends are modeling their own Tuesday Taylor convertible outfit. Here's a sporty tennis outfit. It converts to a pretty dress. Her friend is dressed Tuesday in a two-piece knit that converts to a lovely lounge outfit. A final touch from brunette to blonde. Tuesday is today. This beauty is Tuesday Taylor. Not to be confused with Tiffany Taylor, who is a larger doll with some strange proportions. Tuesday Taylor is a total beauty. This doll from Ideal was meant to be a fashion model and she has a very pretty sculpt. One version a lot of people are familiar with has this rotating scalp where you can flip over her hair and have either dark hair or light hair. I, I don't have that one. Get off my back, I don't like it. Sue me, I don't like it. This one here is a walking doll and she comes on these like skis. <laughs> and she sort of, she walks across the table like that. I, I'm not crazy about that mechanism. She's a very pretty fashion doll. And uh, she has a, a very lovely sculpt. She's beautiful. She fits into a lot of Barbie clothes. Did you guys have any of these dolls? Did you have a Tiffany Taylor? Did you have a Leggy? Were you playing with Tressy as a kid? I'm glad I could get out of bed for a little while <laughs> to put this together and show you some of these vintage dolls that I think are really cool. Anyway, let me know which was your favorite out of this bunch. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time. Bye.